Hey coach, welcome back to our channel. Make sure and hit that subscribe button if you're brand new here. This way you can stay updated with all the newest videos we have coming out. Now in today's video, this is all about you. And a question that I get all of the time is how much money should I be spending on training equipment? And I'm gonna show you exactly how I do this and how you can start saving a lot more money. Here's what you can do. Step one is you think about, well, what do I actually need to run a proper training session? For most coaches, it's gonna be cones and whatever the ball is of the sport that you coach. If you have those two things, you are in business. If you came out to watch any of my sessions this week, that's what I have. I don't have a bunch of fancy gear, things that are really expensive. I could go buy those things if I wanted, but that's not why kids are training with me and that's not why they train with you. They're not training with you because of the gear. They train with you because of the quality of training, the quality of coaching that you provide. There's coaches that email me and message me all the time. They'll say, well, should I buy this $2,000 gadget? I'm like, no, you don't need to do that. Again, at the beginning of your business, you need to be very tight with how you spend your money. Otherwise, you're just gonna be spending so much money on stuff just because other trainers have it, and you're gonna think that that's gonna get you clients. I can be the first person to tell you that's not gonna help you get clients. You need to focus on sales at the beginning, not focus on buying stuff, okay? That's very clear. Again, I'm gonna say it again. You need to focus on sales, not buying gear, not buying equipment. Let's say that you're really tight starting off with your money, which I think is a good thing to do. Well, what you can do is all the kids that train with you, you have them bring the basketball, you have them bring the soccer ball, whatever ball it is <laughs> that, that you're using, and you just bring the cones, that's it. You do that, then you can take the money that you're earning and then go reinvest back into your business and you could buy more cones or more balls at that point. But again, I see so many times coaches out there are spending way too much money. Starting off with your business, you should be very frugal. You don't have to go into the hole thousands of dollars to buy all this equipment. And take it from me, I've been doing this for 10 years. My equipment is still very minimal. I have everything in a small black Nike bag that I take out to the field and that's it. I don't have a bunch of gadgets, don't need that. You don't need that to have a successful business. I hope this helps you out, coach. If you have any questions for me, comment below this video. I'm here to help.